Hey guys, welcome to another reading vlog. For some reason, I've been in such a romance mood lately. I feel like it's because I read The X Hex by Aaron Sterling and that either triggered it or made me realize that I'm in the romance mood, but I had a really good time with that book recently. So I'm gonna keep going with romance for now. So I actually already started Weather Girl by Rachel Lynn Solomon yesterday and I'm on page 58 right now and I'm really liking it so far. I think I know where it's going, but I haven't read the synopsis for it. I haven't read any reviews. I went into it blind because I find with romance, I really prefer going into it knowing not a lot. I don't like knowing the tropes beforehand or anything, especially if it says like, oh, like fake dating, enemies to lovers, like whatever, or like, okay, sometimes I like to know if there's a cheating trope because I do not like reading cheating tropes. I don't know. Anyways, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen in this, but I, I think I might know. But it's, it's good so far. Like, I'm predicting four stars, honestly. 58 pages isn't very far in, but normally by page 50 I kind of get a feel of, like, what I'm thinking for the book. And then I'm also about to start the audiobook for I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I just finally got it on Libby. I've been on hold for months for it. I've wanted to read Jeanette McCurdy's autobiography for a while now, but it actually was released around the same time my own mom died. When I first saw the book when it was released, just reading the title alone really upset me, so I knew there was no way I was going to actually be able to get through the book if the title itself was upsetting to me at that time. But I feel like now enough time has kind of passed and I can read the title and not feel so upset by it, so I think I'm finally ready to dive into that one. I've heard it's really good, I've heard pieces of the audiobook read by Jeanette herself. I'll probably like game and play like Minecraft or Slime Rancher while I listen to it. That's one of the things I really like to do while I listen to Minecraft. When I listen to, Minecraft. When I listen to audiobooks personally is just play a cozy game. I don't know why, it scratches an itch for me in my brain. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you guys again when I've read something. It's been a couple of days since I last spoke to you guys and I finished Weather Girl by Rachel Lynn Solomon and I liked it but I've got to say it wasn't like groundbreaking for me. I'm already forgetting it. I did get through it really quickly. I enjoyed the characters and I enjoyed the plot but it was just missing something for me. I don't know, some sort of little spark. So it's three stars for me. I do recommend it especially if you're really into romance and I really liked that the love interest the guy in it is plus size. You don't get that a lot in romance novels. So I did enjoy Weather Girl but honestly I'm already forgetting it and it's one that's probably not going to stick with me so yeah three stars for that one for me. And then I am currently 76% of the way through listening to I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Wow it is super raw really hard to listen to, super captivating. 
I honestly almost listened to the entire thing yesterday, but then I got super tired. It was like 2 a.m. and I was like, no, okay, I gotta save the rest. As I'm reading it, I will say I'm really glad that I waited until now to read it because I just know that at the time that it came out, I would not have been ready to read any of the content within it. I feel as though if I would have tried to read it when it came out in August of 2022, it just would have been too hard for me. I probably would have put it down and actually never came back to it because it would just remind me of my own life too much. Then I finally picked a poetry collection that I find. Then I finally picked another poetry collection that I want to start, and that is Beast at Every Threshold by Natalie Wee. It looks beautiful. Like, I literally bought it because of the cover. I have no idea what it's about. No clue. This one, I just saw the cover, and I was sold. Just, oops. So that could be good, could be bad. I don't know. But it looks really interesting, so we'll see. I'm still in the romance mood. I know, obviously, I'm glad my mom died is not in any way, shape, or form romance, but I had to listen to it because I finally got it. I was on hold for months with my library, so I, it was now or never, honestly, or now or months from now. But I am still really in the romance mood, so I think I'm going to read the Kiss Quotient. Kiss Quotient, is that what it's called? By Helen Huang. I have been seeing this one since it came out. It was all over Book Talk. It was all over BookTube. People love it. And it's, I think it's compared to The Love Hypothesis a lot. Maybe that's just me. I really liked The Love Hypothesis. I thought, though predictable, it was super cheesy and fun. And like, sometimes that's all I'm looking for in a romance. I just want cheesy, fun, nothing too serious. I think it's finally time to read that one. I have it on my Kobo. So yeah, I am going to go finish I'm Glad My Mom Died and fold laundry that should have been folded like three days ago. And I will talk to you guys when I finish that and maybe start one of my other reads. finished the audiobook for I'm Glad My Mom Died and I must say I myself thought it was amazing. There were moments in it that I could have cried. I didn't but I definitely could have and the audiobook um, read by Jeanette herself so well done, so heartfelt. I definitely recommend the audiobook and I also recommend the book itself. You definitely have to be in a good mental space for this one. And I'd also recommend checking the content warnings because there are quite a few upsetting topics within it. So for this one, I'm not gonna rate it. I've been trying the past like year or so to not rate autobiographies or books based on someone's life experiences just because it doesn't feel right to me to rate someone's life but I I will recommend it as long as you're in a good like mental space at that moment in time then I also am about halfway through Beast at Every Threshold it's very different to any poetry I've ever read it's very lyrical and beautiful and the structures of some of the poems are actually really cool and then I'm also 27% of the way through The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. Definitely would not recommend this one if you don't like reading smut because that is basically the premise of the book. I didn't know what I was getting into when I started it. I'm enjoying it personally, but I know smutty scenes and spicy scenes aren't for everybody. So if that's not for you, I wouldn't recommend this one. But if that is for you, I would recommend this one. But anyways... I think I'm going to set up a little cozy area next to my tree. Oh yeah, I put up my Christmas tree. So I think I'm going to set up a little cozy area right here and just do a little bit of reading. So I'm going to do that now.
just got home from work, but I finished The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. So first things first, four stars for me. I really liked this book. Uh, I will repeat again though, if you don't like smut, you don't like spice, this is not the book for you because that is basically the premise of the book. And I will say for me, it's four stars, not five stars, just because I found myself kind of rolling my eyes a bit here and there. I docked a star for that, but it was really good. I enjoyed it. It made me smile and it served its purpose. It was a nice little romance story. I really liked the characters in it. I gotta say that. Yeah, so I recommend that one if you like spice. So I think next I'm going to take a break from novels just for a little bit, just to kind of cleanse my palette, and I'm going to read The Girl from the Sea, which is a queer romance graphic novel. I read the first 16 pages last night, and I liked what I read so far. I'm going to go and probably snuggle up on my couch and read some of this, and then maybe read some poetry, and then probably go to bed. I ended up finishing The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag in one sitting. I really enjoyed it. Uh, four stars for me. It was super cute. I really liked the concept of it. Loved the friend group dynamic. And I'm hoping that there's going to be another one eventually of like the main characters in the future. Yeah, it was just absolutely adorable. Love it. Can't recommend it enough. And then I also finished reading Beast at Every Threshold by Natalie Wee, which is a collection of poetry, and I really loved this one as well. Five stars for me. I've never read poetry like it before. It was just so different, and some of the passages really spoke to me, honestly. One of the ones that I really loved is from one of her poems called Inside Joke. It's on page 17 of this edition, and... It says, depending on who's talking, a sound image action has infinite lives. Fuck language purists. Goodbye only exists because someone wrote God be with ye in shorthand. Another one is, when you read this, are you passing through the speaker's time or are they passing through yours? That's from Listen, I Love You, Joy is Coming. And actually, I really loved this poem in general. And the first, like, few stanzas of this. Is it the stanza? I'm gonna call it a stanza. I'm not really sure. I haven't really studied poetry in years, but the first few stanzas I really loved as well, and it's, despite a new death come to keep us from each other, a constellation of birds sings outside your window. And if you think their music thunderous, how much more must it be for these creatures? Well, what do you know of why they bleed noise? I loved these poems. They were so lyrical, so beautifully written. And I definitely recommend if you do get into this one that you read it aloud because it just, it helps you hear the flow of it and the rhythm of it. So, so, so well done. I definitely recommend this. I think I'm going to leave this video here. I read a great bit of stuff, but it has been over the course of a few weeks and I'm itching to start maybe some like holiday slash Christmas reads. So I think this is a good place to end it. I hope you have a great rest of your week and happy reading. Thank you.